Hi guys, so today I'm at Goodwood Festival of Speed. This is our fourth year that we've been presenting here. It's quite a good one this year. We've bought the 675 LT, we've bought the Ferrari Enzo, and we've bought the McLaren P1 with us. We've had lots of really good inquiries. It's, it's always proved to be a hit with us. So something about events like this is that you can't immediately tell how well the event's gone. It could be that some customers that you've interacted with contact you after a week and you know immediately you've paid for your stand and all of that kind of stuff. Or it could be you don't get a call back for six months or a year or something like that. But I think ultimately you get out what you put into this. You really have to make sure you chase the leads straight after so that it's fresh in their minds. Last year, we sold quite a few PPF packages. We uh, got generated a lot of interest in our detailing division. We also eventually sold a couple of cars that we had on the stand there. The previous year, once again, we sold an Aston Martin a GT8, which is quite a rare car, and uh, got a very good price for it as well. Our neighbors this year are Expel Paint Protection Film. Uh, that's quite cool because actually three years ago, we had a stand with them. Uh, we work very closely with them in our uh, detailing side, so it is good to be next to them. Also this year we are partnering up with JBR, uh, JBR Capital. They provide financing for supercars and luxury cars. Once again we do a lot of work with them and it's great, it's been really good this year uh, sharing a stand with them as well. Generally speaking so far it's been really good. Today was a bit of a, a bad day because of the rain, but we've uh, persevered and we've got to meet some really serious clients and hopefully we get some sales out of it. So yep. here we have uh, George doing his... Um, in his natural habitat. <laughs> 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 so um, there's a recording. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, final day. Uh, it's been a long, Emotional. Yeah, wonderful uh, four days. Um, but yeah, just comes to show that it is worth it. Um, it goes to show. Comes to show. George. Are you hanging? <laughs> I'm fine. All right, so George, how, how do you think it went today? Yeah, it went brilliant. We had some genuine inquiries, met some customers we only spoke to over the phone. Yeah. But um, yeah, great to put a name to the face. Um... <laughs> Come on. Come on. A <laughs> name. Well, it took like two Name seconds to the face. Guys as well. <laughs> <laughs> we were just we waiting for you to... Yeah, we're doing it, come on. So you once you put the name to the faces, right? <laughs> then you have to ask the question again. Okay, so okay. So here we have George and his natural... No, okay. Um, so here's the main man, George, our sales manager. George, how has it gone this, this year? It's been good. The, the rate of progression every year as well has been amazing. I mean, they were just having a look, uh, walking past a couple of stands, thinking... So we year. started off with yeah. a small stand, which would have been like something like that, where there's just one car. Yeah, but it was a fantastic car. It was actually your first for Speciale. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then? then uh, after from that? then, we went to... Um, we went up to another stand. I think we had two cars. Two then. cars. Two LTs. One yeah. LT Spider, one LT Coupe. Yeah. And then last year, which was pretty good as well, we had a 956 Le Mans racing car, yeah. a GT2 RS, and 675 LT. Yeah. Um, but this year has to top it. I mean, a McLaren P1, uh, yeah. delivery mileage, a UK supplied Ferrari Enzo, Prestige certified, and the highest spec 675 LT Spider to ever leave the factory. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's been great. It's been great. Met some customers, made some new customers, and. Uh, got some great potentials so looking forward to the week ahead and uh, hopefully um, convert some of those inquiries so Ollie heads up our detailing and PPF department Ollie how's it gone this year yeah no it's gone really well it's my first year at Goodwood with GVE um, so yeah it's, uh, meeting a lot of new uh, customers is always good okay um, we've also booked in quite a few so we booked in three cars of PPF so we booked in a five series uh, TVR and a brand new Range Rover SVR as well. 
Okay. That's very good. Cool. Uh, that was today only. Yeah. And then you've had some other cars during yeah. the, the other days as well, which is great. So PPF is something that maybe in America is a lot more popular than it is in the UK, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how sure. have you found um, the general reaction of people when you tell them about PPF down here? Yeah, I mean, obviously not everybody's fully aware of like the benefits of PPF, mm. um, but once you, you know, tell them a few stories about some instances where, you know, there's maybe been some collisions with cars that's potentially saved a lot of money, uh, through body work, for example, yeah, um, or just general, you know, getting stone chips on the front end of the car, yeah. then suddenly people are actually, you know, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, definitely worth doing it. So it's just about having, you know, a lot that of awareness. Yeah, that awareness, and I guess this is a conversation that we've had a lot in the past, which is yeah. the perception of the market is. PPF is only for uh, high-end, you know, supercars or yeah. top-end like luxury cars yeah. like Rolls Royces and yeah. stuff, which is definitely uh, definitely not the case. No, uh, no. As as is uh, the example all around, you know, America, the Tesla market is huge for Expel, right? Yeah. These people care a lot about their cars, and although they're not a quarter of a million pounds, people still want to make sure that they're fully protected. Have you found that we've got a lot more of that market now? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, like uh, a lot of work we do with BMW, for example, yeah. you know, a lot of M140 drivers, you know, they love their cars, so they want to get them fully protected, detailed, PPF. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, and that that's a car that's how much roughly? Like 30, 35,000. Yeah. Uh, sort of price point. Yeah. Um, and yet, most of these customers are spending, you know, between sort of two to three thousand pounds. So almost ten percent uh, of, yeah. of the car's yeah. value. Yeah. But ultimately, look, if you're keeping the car for five years, three to five years, I guess the the benefit is you can chance it. But if you're driving this car every day, yeah. there's no two ways about it. Yeah. You're going to get stone chips. Yeah, motorway driving. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna pick something up. Hundred percent. Yeah. Cool, so it's a no-brainer. Yeah. All right, thanks, Ollie. Well. Thanks. Cheers. Don't look like a weirdo, um, Ollie. Okay, guys. So... <laughs> okay, guys, so that's uh, good with 2019 done. Look forward to doing it next year now in a bigger way, in a stand that's closer to the main dealers. That's the aim. Thanks, guys. See you later.